Hey guys, this is a battle between me and my friend James, also known as Bong. Um, I just thought it was really, really interesting. I don't think many people actually turn on the games to watch battle videos, so I thought if I record it, I can at least do some kind of amazing commentary. <laughs> Which won't be too amazing. So here we go. I forgot to actually tell you what he set up with, but you're going to see it anyway. I start off with... Oh, it's a double battle, and he has Electros, and what is that? Whimsicott? That's it, yeah. I forgot its name. And I have my trusty Exodrill and my Dojo, because I think if I'm going to use Earthquake, um, it won't affect Dojo. I mean, Dojo. Um, he's... Whimsicott starts off with Sunny Day, because he's Electros knows Flamethrower to get rid of Elect... Um, yeah, no. Exodrill. And I was thinking I was pretty much screwed here because I thought Electros would just, you know, rape, what's his name, Dodrio. But it didn't turn out that way and um, I managed to get the first hit in with Whimsicott after it hit um, Sunny Day. Now it's using its flamethrower to just dominate me which isn't very nice. And it did actually one hit KO which I thought, oh, that's my main uber attacker gone now so that's not too great um he sends out his jelly scent i think that's what it's called i can't actually remember and um i was pretty screwed so i sent out jinx thinking it would resist a lot of a um psychic and ghost attacks it has well and it resists psychic types as well and i thought because electros is out i'd also switch to my infernape just to save that for another day. Um, I use Energy Ball on obviously Jelly Center because I thought it would one hit KO it to be honest because all my Pokemon are Eevee and nice but it just about survives that. And um, th I didn't think because Jinx is such a, a prominent psychic type in my head from um, Generation 1 days I even forget it's Ice type and um, it obviously gets killed very quickly, but it did a lot of damage to Jellicent, so it's quite alright. It used Attract, um, something used Attract, I can't remember which, oh, must be Jellicent. But, um, he quite likes Attract, but luckily it didn't work. So I obviously have no choice but to send out my last Pokemon. I use Stone Edge, don't know why, on Jellicent to finish it off, and then I'm stuck with Electros. I think I'm stuck with Electros. Well, does it send something else out? Who knows? It's a mystery to us all. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why I dual pecked that. I think it's because I didn't have any other choice. I think I tried to get that on... Oh, I would have tried to get that on... What's his name? Jellicent. But, yes, he obviously one-hit KOs um, Dodrio with his final attack. Oh, it is his final Pokemon. So now it's just the case... Oh, no, it ain't. Duh. I'm so stupid. But, um... Yes, he sends out Crocodile, which obviously I handle with a close combat. See, it was so simple, I even forgot about his Crocodile. <laughs> but, um, that obviously lowers my attack. Oh, no, my defenses, sorry. So I was thinking, sure, I have the full health, and he has that little chip on him. But it's really a case of who gets that first hit. And, oh, no, no, he goes for a Dragon Tower, which I thought, oh, I'm screwed. But it didn't actually do all that much damage. And so I close combat him, and luckily, I... Is it a critical hit? Yeah, I get a critical hit because it has the scope lens. And it was a very lucky game. It would have been like one or two more hits, probably one more hit if it used like Thunderbolt or something. But um, it was a very, very close game, and I only won it on a Nat's cock. And that is why it was so fun to watch. To, for me anyway. <laughs> you, that's for you to decide if you think it's fun to watch, but um... Yeah, if you want to see more battles like this, just send me a message. I know it's very poor quality, but maybe one day I'll figure out how to get it all nice and high-tech. Anyway, to the bye!